pattern number 23. Wow, that is numerology number five. For all of you guys that don't know, numerology is <laughs> um, adding numbers together to make significant numbers of meaning and reality. Um, but that's not anything of the point. These videos are my daily patterns and making sure that I can do everything that I set out to do every single day and even if I fail making sure that I get back up and keep going and keep going and keep going so yesterday I said that I was gonna do some M Turks mechanical hits those are also called human intelligent tasks and I did a few and was able to make a, a good little five dollars there but I wasn't able to excel beyond that just based off of the day I ended up falling asleep around 12 till 2:30, um, trying to he not trying, but healing my my wrist and my elbow because I've been sending over too much like acidic substance or plasma, and it's bubbling up in my finger. I don't know if you could see that, but basically I have to suck that stuff back in and make sure that it's distributed properly so that way it's not bubbling up. I've dealt with problems like this before, consciously changing the skin on my foot and it's not that hard but there are some positive, some positive, some very possible negative consequences of if I were to release too much of this acidic like substance. If I do, um, my finger can pop off if i do my skin all over can boil and dry um if i do just think about shooting water from inside of your body and it coming out of your skin like i would have to be as careful as filling up um water balloons and making sure that those water balloons don't actually get bigger. They need to stay the small little water balloon that it is, but still have water inside. So every time my consciousness goes towards bigger, goes towards bigger, this substance starts to come out of wherever I'm focusing on. Because the substance believes that it has more distance to travel than it actually does. So it's coming out of its boundness. Technically, it's like um, you growing part of your body that you shouldn't be growing. At the moment, I need to keep my finger my finger. I don't need to turn my finger into two different fingers and stretch it a mile long. I just need to keep it this size. So I got to suck in that stuff and make sure that I keep my finger the same size that it currently is. Either way, that's the point of why I was sleeping yesterday from 12 to 2.30. Um, besides that, I put in a total of nine trades yesterday and four of them have hit their stop loss. So that's not necessarily good. That means that I am $2 around or less back than where I started in the beginning of the week I do have trades still in and I will add more trades in and I'll even add some of the trades in that I hit the stop loss from because it, it went to an area of ultimate resistance in order to hit my stop loss and some of those trades not all of them aren't actually reversing they're just showing me that or showing everybody that they have power and control to go past that limit, get your cash, and then keep going up. So that's what that's like a little strategy that they use that I wasn't completely taking account for, and that's why some of my stop losses were hit. Um, basically, a stop loss is just where you have a level and you're saying this is as far as I'm willing to go in the negative direction, and that's for currency trading. So I'm trading. Uh, currencies like United States dollars and Japanese yen against each other in a pair and if those if that pair goes up or if it goes down if I predicted it correctly I get the cash come on lay down lay down lay down from that and it's less of a prediction and more of strategy and mathematics 
it makes logical sense rather than gambling. So that's what I'm learning on. I'm paying for courses to learn about. And yeah, I also this morning got an email from Google AdSense because I said that I was looking to get approved yesterday and they declined me. <laughs> so they said that I had some policy uh, stuff that I needed to look over. So I did. Um, I added Google's name into the, the privacy policy and then I changed some of the ads that they had on there from Amazon and wrote that they were Amazon affiliate ads just to make sure that uh, it's not like misleading content which is something that they don't want but I think they're more gearing towards their ad sets um, and then I disabled uh, Google's own site ad thing that they have because I feel like they were putting ads on my homepage and then they looked at where the ads were placed and they saw that my homepage um, had an ad on it and my homepage does not is not ad friendly whatsoever so I took that off and then I put a custom ad inside of the post specifically so when they're reviewing it they can see that the ads are inside of the post with the words rather than on a page with only pictures and links towards other places uh, yeah so that's my pattern for, I guess, yesterday in a way, and today I get to focus on doing some M-Turks. One of my favorite... Hey, guys, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. My favorite hit person who does like 40 cents a hit is on, and they're running out. They were at... Uh, 800 when I looked this morning and now they're at 600 and they just keep going down and down and down so I'm gonna get started on some of those while we eat or after we eat breakfast I think and if I can get to them I'll get to them if I can't then I can't um, there's another guy who has 2,000 up and they're 10 cents each so I know that I can do those really easily <laughs> excuse me I don't know if I'll be writing any articles today I don't know if I'll be editing any photos today. I really don't know. Guys, stop walking around. Just lay down. Come here. Lay down. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to uh, do the M-Turks, but that seems to be my main goal at this moment is getting some hard cash in so that way I can pay for my education courses in, in currency. And then, you know, if the goal is for the currency to be paying for itself and then uh, start ride sharing once I reach $500. So that's our money goals for right now. And that's my patterns. I took the dogs out just simply outside today instead of going for a walk. And I'll probably do a walk after breakfast, maybe a skateboard ride. Uh, all right. Have a good day.